Sun, and my accomplice's name is Kay Shacklock. Our program of three pieces stands just under 200 years, with their first composition being the earliest, Beating to La Karma by Mozart. This is a canzonetta that is only aria di da capo in Italian with piano accompaniment that Mozart ever wrote. There is also some controversy that has been unresolved regarding the authorship of this piece. Some suggest that it may in fact be an adaptation of an aria by Mozart's friend, the Czech composer Josef Mislivicic. Others argue that Mislivicic could have easily sold Mozart's melody. In either case, in this song, the singer entreats her lover to relax and to let go of all traces of fear and anger and surrender to love as she does. Joyful anticipation fills the song as peace returns after conflict and marriage is expected soon.
particularly for that period in 1888. This enigmatic lead tells the story of a feisty and somewhat bipolar woman's right. In the middle of a frozen winter night, she is out singing and laughing and dancing and nurturing a fish, which uncased under thick ice. Unfortunately, she notices a humble fisherman attempting to fish, and infuriated, she threatens to rip his nets to shreds. However, in a surprising change of heart, she decides to bless his humble, good-natured daughter and her future spouse, a nice young hunter who doesn't kill fish. So, she decides to hang a wedding wreath on their house, along with a silver pike that has miraculous powers and will bring them good fortune. Finally, the water sprite must go with the morning Bruce's call, but it is only a temporary farewell.